Okay, so it's Monday and as usually we have the weekly giveaway which is uh, from the last week we had this green M4 which was a giveaway on the green loadout video today we of course have the yellow one so I'm going to make a giveaway of course for, from today until the next Monday on a yellow skin after I have announced the winner for last week's giveaway so last week this little M4 in 5 sorrows in uh, Infection New with a pretty decent float of 0 0.06999949 um, and the winner will be right here so congrats to you man I will contact you right away and make sure you get your info. And of course for the next week we have a yellow skin. So I'm going to give away this Tech 9 fuel injector in field tested. And all you have to do to enter the giveaway is to subscribe to my channel, like the video and then comment down below your favorite yellow skin from this uh, from this inventory I was about to say from this video. Um, so your favorite yellow skin from this video I, I'm going to show you guys and yeah then you have into the giveaway and I will announce the winner of this one on next Monday. So good luck with the giveaway guys and now let's get straight into the video. Okay so once again we have another Monday which means we have another budget themed inventory. And last time we did green uh, budget themed inventory and today we're going to look into the yellow themed inventory. So this one I will let you know right now was really hard to do because I found out how many skins we actually have which is yellow in this game and that's not <laughs> too many. We really have a lack of, of yellow skins in this game and most of the weapons where with the other colors I've done so far, I've done green, red and blue. Uh, I had like two to three for most weapons, different options. For this one, there's w way too many weapons where you only have one options. And more, most of them are really expensive. Because we don't have that many yellow skins in this game. And so everyone who wants to do a yellow themed inventory will, will be going to buy the same skins and that will just keep increasing uh, the prices for the yellow skins because there isn't that many options. Um, there is a lot of weapons or the skins I'm going to show you uh, in this video which is below 5 euros or around 5 euros and below each. So it's not because they're ex extremely expensive but they're not also as cheap as some of the skins from the other videos because in those videos most of the skins were like maybe 1 or 2 euros uh, or below 1 euro. Some even like 5, 10, 15, 20 cents. Um, there is a few of those still in this video but not as many as they used to be but yeah I have make sure to to find all the yellow skins for you for all the weapons so let's get into it and I really hope you find something you like if you're going to do a yellow themed inventory okay so we're going to start off with the knife and glove combo for the yellow themed inventory and this is actually probably one of my favorite uh, budget knife combos this looks really really nice so this is the Driver Gloves Overtake and a Falcon Knife for Law. Really, really nice. The Falcon Knife might not be everyone's favorite knife. It's not my favorite either. But for a budget knife, it can, fits really, really well and is really, really cheap uh, compared to other knives without being one of the, the more uglier knives in the game. Um, so yeah, I really like this one. The Driver Gloves Overtake and Field Tested cost you $90 and the Falcon Knife Law also in field tested cost you $175 um, so this is a $265 combo which is really cheap uh, you know compared to, to what else you can get in this game and there isn't that many options for a budget knife and glove combo when you go for yellow loadout so this is probably my favorite one to go with and of course, as I usually do, I'm going to show all the skins with the gloves so you can see how they fit out. Um, so yeah, to the AK, we got the AK Legion of Anubis. This is probably the best you can do for a yellow AK, which is... It, it has a quite a bit of yellow gold is to it and fits really, really well with the gloves. Uh, since the gloves also got a lot of brown to it. Um, besides the yellow part and the only other yellow AK you can really go for is the fuel injector and that's a uh, yeah that's an expensive AK so if you're on a budget this is the one to go for and you can get the AK Legion of Anubis and field tested for six dollar and five cents so just over six dollars and if you want to go for for a minimal wear one and upgrade it uh, to a better condition uh, that will cost you nine dollar and forty five cents 
so it is a bit more expensive minimum wear and personally i will just you know go for the filters one save you a few dollars and you can probably go ahead and grab a, a nice float uh, filters one for market price and it will look decent so yeah now to the avp so that's actually a hard one this was the best i could come up with so this is the avp po uh a pow sorry <laughs> which uh which uh, is a pattern based avp and it doesn't have that much yellow to it as you can see um but it does have some orange cats on it and also you can get a golden cat i can see the one i found here to inspect you guys don't have the golden cat but you can get okay it does right uh down right at the 30 uh count the, my magazine you know where you can see how many bullets i got left at the 30 you can just see something a, a little bit of red and yellow next to each other that's the golden cat down there on this one uh, but you can get a golden cat centered and that's a really really nice one and is yellow and fits really really well and there isn't really any yellow avps to go for as far as i know i mean the best you can do is something like a dragon law and yeah i mean most people even those who aren't on a budget or like uh, yeah really a uh, small budget have money to get a dragon law and yeah this is probably the best you can do and you you should go and try to get a golden cat on this one uh search up the the patterns i can also you know write them here on your on the screen for you and yeah you can go ahead and get that one so this one in field says it only a dollar and fifty cents and in the meanwhile just over two dollars at two dollars and five cents so a really really cheap avp here and yeah you might have to overpay a little bit if you want to get the golden cat on as it is what most people are going for with this avp uh, but it shouldn't be that bad now to the info info so i do know this one which is the info a1 is uh info info sours um is way more green than yellow but it does have some yellow to it and if you want to get a yellow uh info a1 is you will have to yeah probably go over what i would call a small budget but i will right after this one show you uh the cheapest uh, yellow one you can get but other otherwise this one is an option for you you still have some yellow to it it's, it's yeah yellow green and a little bit of red to it you can see um and it looks really really nice when you expect it i would say and also the you know the dinosaur uh, on the weapon itself is like yellow greenish so this is the best you can do on a budget because this one is field tested it's only 60 cents and in minimum wear you can get it for one dollar and 45 cents so you can save a lot by just buying it field tested but i mean a dollar and 45 for uh, info a1s is still really really cheap so the other info which is the info a1s golden coil this is a extremely expensive info um at least in a good condition but it is possible to get this one uh what i would call for decent price uh, in battle scarred or well worn um, and as you can see this one fits like goddamn this one fits so good with the gloves it's actually insane this one is so so nice but don't expect to get it in a good condition uh, otherwise you will have you will have to pay a lot of money because this one in like I can't remember right in my head, but I think the minimum wear one and the factory new one, you'll be looking at a few hundred euros. Um, but if you go for a battle scout one, you can get this one for 30, uh, 33.75 uh, dollars. And a world war one is just over 40 dollars at 40 dollars and 80 cents. So it is, yeah, a skin for around uh, 30 to 40 dollars to, to go ahead and grab. But if you really want that gold info, you can go for this one. And yeah, but I mean, if you don't have the budget, go for the other one. That's around one dollar. Now to the info A4, we got the bus kill. So, and as you actually probably have seen now, there isn't that many weapons I got two skins for because there isn't that many yellow skins to be honest. And most of them is quite expensive uh, when you're on the budget. So. Some of them might be a little bit hard for you to get, but I mean, I have to show them. So this one is the M4A4 bus kill, and the best condition to grab this one in is in field tested. And you can get a field system one for $7.30. It is a red skin, a covert skin. That's the same for the golden coil. 
and also one of the reasons why this is a bit expensive um, but seven dollars and you get yourself a nice m4a4 for your ye yellow loadout and seven dollars is right there where i would say mm, is it a budget skin or not i don't really know to be honest but it is should still be affordable for many people i would say um, but it, this is definitely the best you can get there isn't really any other yellow skins um, and it does look really really nice i actually really like these uh, yellow skins with this these gloves because the gloves is really yellow on the inside um, you can see here on the outside it has a little bit of like yellow orange is to it and then a lot of brown but the inside of the glove has a lot of yellow to it as well so when you actually inspect and it's holding the weapons it shows the yellow too and that looks really really well with the yellow skins so but yeah a nice info here you can go grab for just over seven dollars now to the AUG so this one is the best option it is more like gold-ish I would say uh, but it is the AUG uh, Symphalian which I have used a lot of times in my trailer videos a really really nice trailer filler from the clutch collection and also really cheap because it's from the clutch collection even though it's a pink skin so this one you can grab in field tested for only one dollar and thirty cents so just over one dollar and you can yeah go ahead and grab a nice uh, AUG you, if you want to go and upgrade it to minimum wear condition you'll be looking at two dollars and ninety cents so a bit more price wise but still pretty affordable still under three dollars in minimum wear but otherwise go ahead and buy yourself filters one for just one dollar and thirty cents this one looks really really nice with the gloves as well keep in mind i do also uh, you know uh, take a notice that which gloves i'm using when i choose the skins to show you guys but for the for, for this uh, themed inventory yeah there isn't really that many other options you don't have any other options than this one um, and most other skins so but it's really really nice and looks really really good now to the sg so once again uh one of the uh, one of many weapons where you only have one option since there isn't that many yellow skins for weapons um but god damn i love the, this themed inventory actually i personally go for the red one myself uh red themed inventory but I, i'm really starting to like the yellow themed also because these gloves are so cheap and they look really really nice with these skins they really really do so this one is the sg colony uh, iv which is four i can I, I can never remember if it's four or six um you know the roman uh like so v is five i do know that but i can never remember if you have to put the i like in front or in back to add or minus you know to the fives but i do believe it's four it has to be yeah um yeah it is you have to put it put it in front <coughs> and then you have you, you minus it to the fives so it's four a colony iv which is colony four and this one is a bit expensive as well but filters condition best condition price wise uh, to buy this one in and that will cost you seven dollars and fifty five cents so seven and a half dollar for sg is a lot but i mean it looks really really nice and once again just that many options which is probably also the reason why most of these yellow skins is really expensive because when you don't have that many options for a yellow skin and people want to go for a yellow themed inventory or yellow uh, colored skin they all want to go ahead and buy the same ones because they don't have any other options to go for so yeah that also brings the prices up a bit now to the famous which is actually a really affordable skin uh for this inventory a little bit bright uh, yellow on this uh, famous compared to the other skins i've showed you and also the glass as you can see but this one is really really cheap so this is called the famous neural net i think you that's how you pronounce it and the uh, Best condition to buy this one in, I would say, is in field tested. It only costs 55 cents, but you can upgrade to a minimum wear, and that's only, only 90 cents. So a minimum wear one will still be under one dollar, and only a half dollar uh, for a field tested one. So a really, really cheap option here for famous, and it looks really, really nice. Um, do keep in mind, or yeah, I will just <laughs> tell you now that this one 
does get a lot of scratchy when you have a high float on this one it, you know you have to get a really good float to get this one um, as clean as possible so this is one of the skins where i would actually maybe uh, say i would personally myself go for minimal what i want just to you know get a little bit more clean so it don't look uh, too scratchy when you uh, go ahead and buy fill test one now to the Galil, we of course have to go with the Chatterbox, the only yellow Galil in the game, I believe, um, or at least <laughs> what I could found. And this one looks so freaking nice with the gloves, just the dark yellow coloring fitting so well. And it's actually not that bad uh, price-wise either. I mean, it is a bit expensive, but it is around the same price as the SG. Uh, but you will have to go for this one in Belskar condition. This one, this uh, skin, the Galil uh, Cheddar Box, is not the worst one when it comes to how scratchy the skin actually looks when you're going for a uh, worse condition. And it is float capped, so the best condition you get it in is a minimal wear. Um, and it's, it gets really pricey meanwhile and also field says it is a pretty, bit expensive. So go for a battle scout one, it won't be that bad um, and have too many scratches on it. And it does look a little bit scratchy anyway, uh, you know, just the skin itself looks a bit rusty and scratchy. So you, you'll be fine, but it is still $7.45 for this one in battle scout. Now to the SG or the scout. Um, so here we got the scout big iron. And this one is really, really nice one. Once again, this matte yellow color, this or dark yellow color, looks so good. And all these skins fits really, really well with the gloves, uh, due to the coloring on the inside of the gloves, man. I really like it. Um, I might actually start to fall in love with this inventory. But, um, well, one condition, $6.60 for this one. It is a bit expensive. Um, and if you want to go for a field tested one, you will be looking at eight dollar and fifteen cents, so one and a half dollar more. And personally, if you're going to spend six, six point six dollars on a on scout in a world one condition, I will just upgrade it. You know, spend an extra one dollar fifty to minimum minimal wear one. But I mean, six to eight dollars for scout when you're on a budget can be a lot. Uh, but for some of you, this might actually be one of the weapons you're going to use more than most other skins. Uh, weapons um, so you could maybe save some money on some of the other weapons uh, and you know go ahead and grab this one and feel tested um, but otherwise 6.6 dollars .6 in well worn now we are moving on to the auto snipers so the first one we got is the scout 20 and here we got the jungle slipstream uh, one of the most affordable and cheapest skins you will see in this video and um, does have some green to it and isn't quite uh, yellow but more like a, a combination between green and yellow um, like a light a really really light green but it fits really really well and it's the best option and the closest you can actually yeah, get for a, for a yellow scar 20 uh, but this one in minimal wear is only 10 cents and factory new one is 20 cents so double up in price it's up to you whether you go for minimal wear or factory new one because I mean 20 cents for a factory new uh, skin is really, really cheap and a really affordable price, even on a budget. But minimal wear compared to factory new, if yeah, I mean look wise, is usually not the biggest difference. So you could just grab a minimal wear one and it'll be only be 10 cents. But a really, really nice, affordable scar here. So for the auto sniper on T side. The G3 SG1, as a usual, I have to shit talk the name because it's such a terrible name to, to pronounce and say out loud. But we got the G3 SG1 Stinger, and this is also really affordable. Not as much yellow as you would probably hope for for an auto sniper, um, but it's the best you can do for a yellow themed skin here on the auto sniper on T side. And I mean, it's not that bad. You got the yellow, yellow around the scopes and uh, some, you know, yellow lines here and there. Um, most of it, uh, other than yellow, is just like black, grayish. So it's all right. But it's also really, really affordable. So this one in field test, it will be 35 cents and minimal wear, 65 cents. So somewhere between 35 and 65 cents and you can get this one in either field test and minimal wear and you have got yourself a, a pretty decent auto sniper uh, on T side for your yellow themed inventory. 
now we are moving on to the pistols so not the best options here for the deagle but this will go still go pretty well uh, with a, a yellow for inventory but it is mostly gold and not yellow on this deagle here uh, but it still looks really really nice and this one is a really affordable deagle since it's only a blue rarity skin and this one uh, which is called the this eagle bronze decoy and um, this one, or Deco, I mean, it's Deco without a, a eye, so like Deco. And um, in memoir, this one is only 25 cents, so really, really cheap here. If you want to go for a faction new one, you will have to pay double the price, and yeah, you will have to, to get rid of uh, 55 cents instead of 25. But 55 cents for a faction new Deagle, really, really cheap and affordable, in my opinion. Um, also on a budget, but otherwise go for the minimum wear one. It will only be 25 cents and it looks pretty decent. Now to the USP. Here we actually got two options. So the first one is the Tokyo, which is a uh, Tokyo. Yeah, some of these names, I don't know how to pronounce that, but <laughs> it's really, really cheap here. The other one is also really cheap. And this one does have those yellow lines to it, but also quite a, a big amount of yellow, uh, or no white, which is the reason why I got another one to show you, which isn't that much yellow, but fits really, really good with these gloves. Um, but this one uh, in field tested is 60 cents, and minimal wear you'll be looking at $1.10. So pretty cheap for USP, I would say. So this one is the other one. As said, not really uh, a yellow one. Um, the other one is the best you can go do for a yellow one, uh, for a yellow USP um, on the budget. But this one, in my opinion, just fits really well with the gloves because it's like have this brownish and gray color uh, ring to it, which the gloves also do have. Um, so I personally like this one more than the other one because of the white color on the on the first one I showed you, which just you know looks weird with everything else being yellow and brown and this one is brown and gray so i just feel like this fits better and i wanted you to have the option to also go with this one if you're buying these gloves for your yellow themed inventory um, but this one is called usps lee codoid and uh, in field tested this one will be 90 cents and minimum wear $1.25 so a, lit a little bit more expensive than the other one but n not too much still around the same price area which is uh, yeah around $1 for, for this one now to the Glock the one only uh, yellow Glock in the game Bullet Green and also really really nice one um, it is a little bit more expensive than, than the USPs I showed you, but still pretty cheap for what you get. This is also a red or covert uh, rarity in skin, uh, which makes it of course a little bit expensive. But if you buy them well worn, uh, which still looks alright, you can grab it for $3.90, so just under $4. If you want to go for a field test one, you'll be looking at $5.75. So it's a little bit to the expensive side when you're on a budget, uh, but the Glock will be one of the weapons I would say you should go for uh, to use a little bit more money on compared to other uh, weapons as you're going to use that at least every pistol rounds and also some eco rounds is one of the main weapons as i would call it uh which is the ones you're going to use the most and lo looks really really nice i really like the bullet queen it's a nice one so now to the pit 250 actually usually after the clock in usp i have the third uh, star pistol which is the p2000 of course on ct side but um, you, you, here you ran out of luck because at least I couldn't find anything. Please let me know if there is a, a yellow skin to it. But I could absolutely not find any yellow skins for P2000 at all. Um, so I don't think there is any. I mean, I could find some like orange, red-ish, which could go all right with some yellow gloves. You know, it's all warm colors and looks pretty decent with each other. Um, but yeah, nothing that is just yellow. Um, so the P250, we got the P250 wing shot, really cheap one, but it's from an older case and a purple condition, uh, not condition, rarity. Um, so it's still over $1 for this one, but the best condition to buy with this one in is in field tested at $1.25. If you want to Go ahead and grab a better condition, uh, which will be the minimum wear one. You'll be looking at just over $2 at $2.10. So, 
yeah, maybe a bit expensive for P250 on the budget, but $1.25, I wouldn't say it's that bad. Um, so yeah, you can go grab this one, the uh, P250 Slingshot. Now to the 57, and we of course had to mention this one, uh, as it's the best yellow P2, uh, 57 you can get, and also pretty, pretty cheap compared to it being a pink rarity skin. So of course we have the monkey business, a matte blue, I would say a dark blue, um, 57 with a, a yellow banana over it on both sides. Looks really, really nice. And yeah, it's just a really funny and, and nice cheap 57 skin uh, when you're looking at some yellow uh, skins. And uh, this one in field tested, which is absolutely the best condition to buy it in price wise, will be $2.35. So a little bit, again, a little bit pricey because we have a lack of yellow skins in this game. Uh, apparently but two dollars 35 cents I would still say it's pretty affordable um, so yeah and it's a really funny skin to have if you're on a f yellow field inventory and probably one of the skins I would say you you need to have uh, in the yellow field inventory now to another banana skin which is for the R8 and we of course have the banana cannon I've opened this up a lot of times in the in case openings so I believe it's from the Revolution case or Revolution collection and this one is pretty cheap. So field tested condition 35 cents and minimal wear 75 cents if you don't really use the R8 but just want to you know have a red skin for every weapon just go ahead and buy the field tested one otherwise you can go for the minimal wear one but it is like banana cannon it's, it's just in generally the skin itself looks really scratchy and rusty, so the condition will probably not do the biggest difference. Um, and it is double up in price to go for field tested, uh, from a field tested to a minimal wear one. So it's up to you if you want to spend an extra 40 cents on it, but the field tested one is only 35 cents. Now to the Tech 9, here we got two options. A uh, pretty cheap option and uh, one which is a bit expensive, but still around the same price as the other pistols. So the cheap option is the Tech 9 Brother, which is only 40 cents in field tested and 70 cents in minimal wear. So pretty, pretty cheap option here. I mean, 40 cents for Tech 9, that's nice. Um, but, and it does have this matte-ish, like dark-ish uh, uh, yellow to it with the brown, which goes so well with the gloves. But the top of the Tech 9 itself is just default, I mean black. Um, and the other one is it's a bit better. I, mean, I have already showed you. I have shown you. I'm not no, I don't think I've shown you that skin before to another weapon. But we talked about it. So the other skin is of course the fuel injector, which we talked about for the AK. Um, the Tech 9 is not as, as expensive as the AK, uh, lucky enough. But the best condition price wise to buy this one in is in field tested and you can go ahead and grab a field tested one for $2.80 so just under $3 ra around the same price at, as the 5.7 and Glock I think and some of the other pistols um, but a little bit to the more expensive side. Personally I like this one way better than the brothers. Uh, or brother since this just looks better the skin itself is really really better and just looks way more clean uh, but it is also way more pricey so it's up to you whether you would only have to spend <coughs> 40 cents on a Tech 9 brother or you know go up and spend almost three dollars for a Tech 9 fuel injector okay so now to the dual beretters here we have the dual beretters marina and this is actually also quite expensive like some of the other pistols we have um, but they look really really clean and I like the combination between the blue and yellow color a lot and only have a little bit of blue I mean okay, there is a decent amount of blue but most part of the gun is yellow and yeah the best condition to buy these in is a minimal wear and that will cost you five dollars and thirty five cents so just over five dollars a bit expensive for a pair of two berettas but I personally use these uh, quite often in pistol rounds and eco rounds, they are pretty nice. Um, but if you don't use them, save that money and put them towards uh, a skin for another weapon you use more. Um, but otherwise, I think this is a pretty decent and clean uh, choice for for yellow dual beretta, even though it's $5.35.
Now the last pistol of the video, which is the CZ75 Auto. I'll just call it CZ. But yeah, CZ Yellow Jacket is called. It is also a little bit expensive uh, pistol here. Again, we don't have that many yellow skins, so most of them are really f sought after and yeah, therefore the price will also be a little bit higher than other colors. But this one is also a yellow, uh, <laughs> yeah, a yellow skin. Um, <laughs> that's, what, what, that's not what I was meant to say. What I was meant to say is also a pink uh, rarity skin, a classified skin. Uh, which also may, means it's going to be a little bit expensive due to that. Uh, but this one you'll be looking at uh, a field tested one, which is the best uh, one to buy money wise. And that would be costing you $4.15. So yeah, just all four dollars and you get yourself a, a pretty nice CZ. set, I really like this one. Now we're moving on to the SMGs. So first off we have the MP9. This was a really tough one because the only MP9 skin you could get for a yellow field inventory is the MP9 Bulldozer. I really, really, really like the Bulldozer skins. It's not the, not the only weapon who got the Bulldozer skin. Also, the Max 7 uh, does have that. I will show you later on in the video. But it's just entire yellow skin and it's float capped. So that's the reason why it's quite expensive in a good condition. And why I would put uh, go ahead and buy this one field tested. Um, but most of you probably won't because it's really expensive. It's almost $60. It's $59.50. 59 and a half dollars for this one. Um, Bulldozer skins are really, really expensive because they are purple uh, rarity, I believe. Uh, all of them. And they are from the older collections. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a tough one to, to get something for. But otherwise, you could probably go ahead and grab... Uh, a, bu a budget or a cheap, uh, maybe red or orange, uh, maybe orange uh, MP9, and that could fit pretty well with the yellow glove still. So yeah, fifty nine point fifty dollars for this one. So for the Mac 10, we got the Mac 10 Stalker, which is a little bit expensive, or it is quite expensive actually. But again. It, it, only option you have here for a yellow one, but it does look really good. It's all ha also have a love blue to it, but mostly is yellow, and I really really like this one. The best condition to buy this one in it is the Mac 10 Stalker. Isn't field tested. Um, that's the only yeah condition that makes sense to buy in, and that will cost you ten dollars and twenty five cents. So it is quite expensive. You could go down in condition to a well worn or bell scout one, um, but the filters one isn't that more expensive. I actually think it, they are pretty much the same price. It's only the minimware and factory new one that is really, really expensive compared to the other conditions. So yeah, I would personally go with the filters one if you decide to buy this one for your yellow themed inventory. Now to the UMP. So this one has a lot of dark uh, to it, or like a lot of black to it, and also some some decent amount of yellow. And it's the best option you could go for for the UMP. And actually, I already had this one in mind as I was going to find a yellow UMP skin. So it's called UMP Caramel, and the best condition to buy this one in is in field tested. Also a little bit expensive, but you'll be looking at eight dollars and forty cents for this one. Um, so a little bit cheaper than the Mac 10, but still quite expensive when you're on a budget but it's really hard to do a completely uh, yellow themed inventory on the budget for most weapons because there's only like one maybe if you really like it two options for a yellow skin so yeah everyone who wants yellow skins are going to buy those skins and they will go up in price man so the best option i could find for the p90 was actually the p90 uh, Scarab B Rush and yeah I do like this one it does have more like brown ish to it and has this Asian vibe but due to like the brown color on the gloves this fits really well with the gloves and there isn't really any like yellow yellow uh, P90s so this was the best option I could find, which comes the closest to, to being yellow. But this also fits really, really well with the gloves because of the brown coloring. Um, so this one is from the Anubis collection, the Scarab Rush. And 
the best condition to buy this one in isn't field tested and that will cost you five dollars and forty cents so so far the cheapest option you have for smg now to the mp7 we got the mp7 nemesis i already had this one in mind looking for yellow mp7 the only option you got and i personally really like this one i had it myself uh, like a long time ago many years ago this was one of my first skins i had um, with the mp9 hydra actually uh, i really liked those two at the beginning of yeah me starting to play counter strike um so yeah, but this one in field tested will cost you $4.80 and minimum wear $6.25. The minimum wear one, not so much, uh, you have to, you don't have to pay that much more to get a minimum wear one compared to the field tested one. But I do understand if you're going with the field tested one because $4.80 when you're on a budget can already be a lot of money uh, for MP7 skin. But in field tested, this one, I said $4.80 will be... Uh, would be the cheapest MP, uh, SMG for this yellow film them so Alright, that's actually not true, never mind The next two, we got the PP Bison and the MP5 Those are going to be the cheapest But other than those, this one so far is the cheapest option Now, moving on to the PP Bison, we got two options for you This one is a lot more green But I personally think if you just want a really cheap one This one could go due to like the... I don't even know what you call that color but the light green color, the it's a, it's, a, it's somewhere between green and yellow, um, but most of it is green. But it's in my eyes and my view, I would say it looks pretty all right. The other one I'm going to show you does have some yellow to it, um, but it is a little bit more expensive because this one is a really cheap option, and you can go ahead and buy this one in factory new for 35 cents. So really really cheap here, um, but yeah, I will just show you the other one as well. Okay, so the other one, it definitely looks way better. Um, I didn't look at the other one in game before doing the video. It was a little bit more greener than I expected. Um, so definitely go for this one because it's not that more expensive. Um, and it is really, really cheap compared to all the other SMGs. So this one is the PP Bison Osiris, which is from the Breakout Collection with the Butterfly Knife, you know. And in Field Tested, you can buy this one for 60 cents. And in Minimal Wear, you can buy this one for 85 cents. So on that dollar uh, for every condition on this one, except for the factory new one. So a really, really nice uh, yellow themed PP Bison here for, for a really cheap price. Now moving on to the MP5, we got the best option here, which mo mostly is blue and a lot of white to it, but it does have the yellow tip and a yellow like back, the, the closest part of the model, which is uh, at your screen, but it's the best option you got, there isn't really any yellow MP5s out there, and this was the only one I could find that had some yellow on it. Um, so that's a really hard option, but this one is at least a really cheap option as well. It is called the MP5 a Kit Bash, and in field tested you can grab this one for 40 cents. In minimal wear you'll be looking at 70 cents. So another w skin which is under one dollar in every condition except for facts for new. Now moving on to shotguns, we're going to start off with the XM1014, which is the outro shotgun. And this one is really, really nice. I really like this one. The best option you got for a yellow uh, outer shotgun. Uh, we, we don't really have anyone which is like completely yellow. This one also have a lot of green and orange to it. But most of the part is yellow. And it, I really like how the fire on it is yellow. Where he, you're holding it with your glove, the right glove. Uh, because that fits really well when you inspect it with the gloves. Um, so really nice here, I actually like this one and it's actually more yellow than I thought um, now than I see it in game. So yeah, really nice, it's called the Outer Shotgun or XM1014, uh, it's in the gazer and the best option to buy this one in is in field tested and in field tested condition you'll be looking at $1.35. Now to the Max 7 we got another bulldozer skin but this one is not as pricey as the mp9 because the mp9 is from an older collection than the mp7 and is used for trade-ups um, and this one isn't really um, so this one is only still it's still a bit pricey for budget but it's only five dollars and 75 cents if you decide to grab this one in field tested once again the bulldozer skins are flow caps so in better condition they're really pricey 
but under six dollars at five dollars seventy five cents for this one in field tested condition now moving on to the sort of we have a really cheap option actually because this one is a blue skin and i think it's from the crow one of the chroma cases i can't remember which one um and it's called the sort of origami and it's yeah only blue condition skin so this one is field tested at only 10 cents and in minimum wear it's 15 cents so 50% more but 15 cents is still really really cheap and yeah you can grab this one in either field tested or minimum wear for a really really decent and cheap price and it fits so well with the gloves i mean the yellow and also the brown it, this one is really good with the with these gloves no doubt now to the Nova, this one uh, is another hard one because there isn't really any yellow Novas. So this is the best I could find and it does have a, some blue to it and then it's like I would say somewhere between yellow and white uh, the color to it, like a really really bright yellow um, or something um, but not completely yellow as you can see and this one is also really pricey because this one in factory new which is the best condition to buy this one in because most of the condition is basically the same pr same price um, and the, yeah the best uh, the price for a factory new one is twelve dollars and forty cents so really expensive is all the skin but yeah the closest you co will come to a to yellow nova now to the last two weapons of course the m249 and the negev for the m249 we got two options we got a cheap option here which is the spectra um just like the pp bison osiris this these two looks really uh familiar to each other uh this one does have some ye 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 yellow i was about to say some white to it uh, but also have those ye small yellow parts and in minimal wear you can get this one for only 10 cents and fetch you 20 cents so i know 20 cents is still cheap but i would personally go with the minimal wear, minimal wear one uh, that was hard to say uh, because you won't see the biggest difference uh, look wise so yeah go for that one for only 10 cents the other option you have which is definitely the best option also the most expensive one is the m249 impact drill and this one in field tested is two dollars and twenty cents and in minimum wear two dollars and seventy cents so only fifty cents more for minimal minimal wear one so if you do end up buying this one over the spectra i would probably go for the minimal wear one because that looks way more clean than a field tested one and yeah i really like this one more than the spectra but there is a big price difference so keep that in mind it also do look a little bit similar to the ump caramel uh, but this one looks really clean in a good condition now the last skin of the video is the Nikif Bullcat, uh, also actually the cheapest uh, skin in the video. Looks really nice, uh, got a lot of bright yellow uh, colors to it and yeah not much to say just looks really clean and looks really really good with the gloves actually um a decent skin for the price as well because this one in minimal minimal wear condition is only five cents and a factory new one is 10 cents so once again you can just keep uh, it at a minimal wear condition as look wise it probably look like the same uh, mostly um but five cents i mean it's not that much to to upgrade to a factory new one if you want to um, but a really nice option here for the give uh, also the only yellow option I could find but really really cheap so it's a really nice option here for for a budget uh, themed inventory for a yellow 